we're asked to evaluate the indefinite integral. Taking a look at the integrand function, notice how the degree of the denominator is two and the degree of the numerator is one. This gives us a hint that if we let u equal the denominator, maybe differential u will match the numerator. So let's begin by letting u equal x squared plus 10x, and therefore differential u is equal to u prime times dx, where u prime is equal to 2x plus 10. So differential u is equal to the quantity 2x plus 10 times dx, and now looking at the integral, notice how we have the quantity x plus five dx. So while they don't match, notice how two x plus 10 does have a common factor of two. Let's factor out two from two x plus 10. This gives us differential u is equal to two times the quantity x plus five dx. And now if we divide both sides by two, we will just have the quantity x plus five times dx. So we'll divide both sides by two, which gives us one half differential u is equal to the quantity x plus five dx. So now we have the quantity x plus five dx is equal to one half du, and we started with s squared plus 10x is equal to u. So let's go ahead and write the given integral in terms of u. The given integral is equal to one half times the integral of one over u du. Again, one half du is equal to the quantity x plus five dx, and x squared plus 10x is equal to u. And now let's integrate with respect to u. The antiderivative is one half times natural log absolute value of u plus c, which means the antiderivative in terms of x is equal to one half times natural log absolute value of x squared plus 10x plus c. I hope you found this helpful.